tucked away in a workshop in the Togo capital Lome, Afate Jinok is adjusting a piece of technology that he has made from scratch. Okay. This is a 3D printer which lifts designs off a computer and prints physical objects. Afat has put months of work into making the experimental device. He hopes it can one day be used to help construct houses on planet Mars. I want my 3D printer to be the first on Mars and it will be known around the world that someone from Africa imagined and designed the robot which is building houses on Mars. Afat is showing off the 3D printer by printing a simple round container. The blue object soon begins to take shape as the device gets to work. In a country where technology is viewed as lagging behind other parts of the world, this is a significant achievement. Afat has named the printer Wafate, a play on his own first name. My dream is to revive the hope of the youth and show that Africa can also have its voice on the global stage as far as technology is concerned. We also can create things. Africa has always lagged behind when it comes to technology. We are always behind. Definitely, I think our continent must rise up. We cannot expect Africa to overtake the West unless we start doing little things like this. The printer object was a winner in a NASA-sponsored space applications contest in Paris early this year. But Afate realizes there is a long way to go before his device is creating houses on Mars. In the meantime, he says the 3D printer has lots of other uses too. Our machine is very useful. It's useful for households. It is useful in the following ways. It can print a cup if need be, a spoon or a fork, anything we use in the kitchen. It can be useful for craftsmen. For instance, a seamstresses who can print buttons for shirts, other clothes. Even certain craftsmen may be able to print out certain tools because not all tools are made of metals. Basically, our machine is really useful. Afat has sourced the parts of his 3D printer at a scrapyard in Lome. Here he hands for components in the piles of metal waste. Motors and cables are among the items Afat has managed to salvage from the old equipment. Kofi Semane provides a building and equipment to help young technical enthusiasts develop their ideas in the Togo capital. He brought an engineer over from France to train Afat last year, which enabled him to go on and create his 3D printer. Kofi says Afate is making a major contribution to Africa's technology scene. Uh, in a contest international where the technology is in plain essor. In an international high-tech context where Africa is lagging behind, the Wafate project has aroused to help Africa speak its voice the best way it can. Sort of saying, we also want to get involved in technology while keeping our values of modesty, environment protection and democracy. Afate Jinoku did not pick his skills at school, but on a computer in a cyber cafe.